All right, so this last question I picked out because it's sort of non-traditional, right? It's not something you're going to see often, um, but I think it's a really interesting problem. So it says, what is the area in square units of the triangle formed by connecting the three points shown? So, I mean, we have three points and we want to know what the area is. So let's just connect these three points so we can see that it's going to make a triangle. So let's just connect these points. And the thing with this is you have to realize is we're not going to be calculating like the distance between these points and then um, using like base times height or whatever. So what we need to do here is actually use a strategy that is common on the geometry region. So for those of you who don't know what the regions are, if you live in New York, you have like state assessments, whatever. Um, so one of the popular problems is like you got to find an area of a triangle and stuff. And how you would do that is just enclose the shape within another shape that is easier to calculate. So in our case, we want to use a uh, rectangle, right? So we draw this out, we can enclose this entire shape within a rectangle. So there we go. So we can just find the dimensions of the rectangle. And you can see that the rectangle here has a, uh, let's see, what is this, negative three? So, so seven units on this side. And then on the top, it is eight units. So here we have seven times eight. And so we can see that at most, obviously, it's going to have an area of 56. So what we're going to do now is find the area of each of these individual triangles on the outside using base times height divided by two. And therefore, once we find those areas, subtract it away from 56 and we'll find whatever we're left with in the middle. So let's start off with this top triangle. So we have one times, uh, this looks like, what is that? Eight, so eight divided by two. So we have four. So this triangle right here is four. And let's try this one over here. So this one is seven down and it is, looks like seven across. So seven times seven, that's 49 divided by two. will give us, what is that? 24.5. And then our final triangle on this side, let's see, it's going to have a height of, looks like six, so six, and then a width of one. So then six over two will give us the area of three. So these are the different areas of the parts or the external parts that we want to subtract away from 56. So 56 subtract four is 52. 52 subtract by three is going to give us 49. Oops, 49, and then 49 subtract 24.5. We have us a final answer of 24.5. And therefore, our answer for the area and square units of the triangle is going to give us a answer of 24.5.